What's up friends, glad to have you guys back. Today is going to be quite an exciting day because as you know, I've reviewed all these true wireless earbuds over here. And I got to say that they're all top tier and really good wireless earbuds. But you know, they are a bit pricey. So today we're going to see if these true wireless earbuds from smaller companies with a more digestible price tag can satisfy your needs. So first of all, full disclosure and transparency to my audience, these companies did send in their earbuds free of charge for me to review and make this video possible. So thank you guys for sending them in, but I didn't get paid to say anything good or bad about these earbuds. Everything that's said in this video is my opinion only. So if something sucks, I'll definitely tell you that. And if something's good, you know that for sure as well. So there's a lot to cover today. We're gonna go over each of these in these areas. And then I'm gonna do a call quality test so you can see the differences and ultimately see which one could be the right one for you. So again, it's gonna be a longer video. Grab your popcorn, grab your drinks. I hope you will enjoy this. And if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button with the notification bell on to get the latest updates about my channel from YouTube. And without further ado, let's get right into this. So first of all, we're gonna talk about the Tautronics and Empow. These are quite similar, that's why I'm grouping them together. This is $30, this is $50. The sound quality is actually very, very comparable to the Galaxy Buds and the Gyro 65Ts. The m does pack in quite a punch with the bass, but the bass in Tiletronics is a lot clearer. It's actually better than the Jabra's. The only thing that puts this a, like a sliver behind the Jabra's is that the Jabra's have a bit more detail and it's a bit smoother than the Tiletronics. But other than that, the build quality of these are quite solid as well for the price that you're paying. They are all plastic and they do feel cheap, like, like you see, but uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's not meant to be premium and they do work very well. With the Tautronics, they do use touch controls, whereas the m they use a hard button over here. And I gotta say that overall, it's quite impressive because all of these, they use Bluetooth 5.0. So you do have more of a stable connection. Although when I did watch Netflix today, I, there was a tiny bit of lag. So um, that's just something I noticed. And then as for comfort, these are quite good as well, but I do have to give the win over here to the uh, m -Pals because these are more secure in my ear versus with these, they do fall out. And here's a quick shake test with that. So with m -Pals, it does sit on the bottom ridge of your ear over here. And overall, they're pretty secure. So it's not gonna fall out, it's pretty good. You can run with these, you can work out with these, it's a-okay. But with the Tautronics, it is a bit less secure. I think this is for more of like when you're walking, when you're sitting down kind of thing. Uh, you could try running with these, but if you shake, yeah, these, these are not as secure. But overall, the package that you get with these at this price, it's, it's quite surprisingly good. Anyways, next up we do have Habit and Sabbat over here. These are both $80 each. And by the way, Sabbat is also called Big Boss in the UK. They have different logos, but they're essentially the same thing, same build quality, same sound quality, same everything. So for $80 each over here, you are getting better sound quality for sure. And it's very, very interesting because the Sabbat is actually, now get this, the dynamics in the bass is actually very similar or maybe equal to the Sennheisers. In my experience, when I was listening to music, you can really hear how big the bass is and how like there's like bass waves and uh, like that's mind blowing because I mean, this is $300 and this is only 80. And I recommend the Sennheisers in almost all my video comparisons because of the sound quality and uh, I, I just don't know what to say at this point. But however, the biggest differences over here is that the Sennheisers does have the app, the hear through, and the connection quality is better than the Sabbath. I do have to say that. It connects a lot faster. Because with these two earbuds, they do work independently, meaning that when you take the primary out, the secondary does have to wait a bit for it, them both to connect. So sometimes that does take a while and it annoys me, but uh, sometimes it works perfectly. So uh, that's something to note. But otherwise, among the, uh, the cheaper earbuds out here, this does feature a USB type C uh, charging port over here and wireless charging. So when you do use a wireless charger and you put this on top, just like, well, bam, it does charge. So again, for $80, this is quite impressive. I've used this for running. It's it's quite comfortable as well. But the only thing is that this, uh, when I put it in my ear, it kind of lodges in here and there's nothing really securing on the side over here. It doesn't really rest on here. So it's not as comfortable as my Sennheisers, but I mean, for 80 bucks, who cares? 
as long as it's secure, which we'll do a shake test with these. So it is quite secure, but I do kind of feel it like coming out. So I think with more shaking, it would. But however, that's where my friend Habit comes in. So the sound quality in these are actually pretty good. I would say it's somewhere in between the Jabra's and the Powerbeats Pro. When you listen to this, you'll notice how big the sound stage is and the bass is really solid, really punchy. Um, this was really impressive. So I do have to say that the build quality with the Habit is my favorite among all these over here. It's not made of a cheap plastic at all. It's kind of rubbery, but with the case, when you close it, you can see it charge over there. It's very nice. And when you open it, the earbuds light up as well. The earbuds themselves are very nice. It has a sports wingtip over here, and it's not like those cheap plasticky ones. It's actually quite substantial. And when you put it in your ear, it does feel quite comfortable. The only thing that I don't really like about it is the touch controls because when you adjust the ear tips, it activates the play and pause and the skip and the voice assistant. So again, the touch controls are a bit finicky. And the other thing is that you cannot control your volume up or down with these touch controls. So that's the only con over there. And then of course, here's a shake test with the habits. Ooh. Yep, um, they're quite secure. Overall, this is quite solid for $80. And lastly, we do have Mavin and Fiaton over here at $140 each. Uh, at this price, um, it's really competing with the Samsung Galaxy Buds and the Jaro 65Ts. And I gotta say that the sound quality is, is actually around the same. There's nothing too special about it. I mean, it doesn't sound bad at all. The bass is punchy, the mids and highs aren't tinny, but uh, there's, it just feels like the soundstage is a bit compressed and everything is a bit flat when compared to the Habit and the Sabbaths. So really, I think these are all like very, very similar. You can't really tell much of a difference. Like these might be like slightly better, like just slightly, but with the Habit and the Sabbaths, you can definitely hear the difference. So anyways, I think the Mavins are quite good. It uses hardware buttons primarily. And as for secure fit, I do like these the most because they do use these uh, plastic wings over here and it hinges onto the ridge of my ear on the inside over here. So it's very, very secure. So when you put it in your ear, it's quite comfortable. It doesn't jam in. And again, it's quite secure. So when you shake, oh, it's, it's, it's still, uh, quite in there. So anyways, what makes this worth $140? So it might be that it supports aptX for a higher quality listening experience. Uh, each charge can last 10 hours. And if you put it in the case, you get a total of 50 hours, or it actually has a connection range of 30 meters, which is like three times of all of these. And so that's really nice. It means it has a really strong connection quality. But uh, in my experience, I'm never that far away from my phone or my laptop anyway, so I didn't find that to be too useful. It's, I mean, like, if you're cleaning around the house with your phone not on your body, maybe that's really useful. Well, I guess if you leave your phone in your bag while you're playing basketball or something, that could be really useful for sports. But for me, it didn't make that much of a difference because I don't work out. Well, actually I do. I connect it to my watch, which is like this close anyway, so. Yeah. And the last thing I forgot to mention is that when you put them in your ear, it does use hardware buttons, but the uh, button is kind of hard to press and you do have to press it into your ear. So that might not be comfortable for some people. But anyways, next we do have Fiaton over here. And the interesting thing about this is that the case is also a speaker. So if we turn it on by holding it like this, and then we play music from here. So it is quite loud. So that's really cool. And here's what my iPad sounds like for comparison. So I guess this is useful if you want to bring it to a party, but I don't think it will be that loud. So uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a neat thing, I guess. Anyways, next up, when you open the case, it's uh, quite hard to open, but it does open. The only thing I do have to criticize the case is that the, uh, the shell is quite cheap. I don't know if you can hear it. It's made of a cheap plastic over here, but 
the earbuds themselves are quite interesting as well. So it does use these uh, little phalange things over here to secure it inside your ear. So, and I gotta say, it's actually quite comfortable. The ear tips sit right outside, they don't have to squish in, and it's quite secure as you can see in this shape test. Oh man, I gotta stop doing these. Anyways, um, yeah, it's quite secure. I would have to say that the Habit is a bit more secure. The hook is a bit more stronger on this side than uh, these. So um, yeah, that's that's what it is. The other thing is that this actually uses a combination of touch controls and hardware buttons. The hardware buttons are located at the top, so it's very easy to click because you don't have to press them in. They're located over here, so you have the bottom part to leverage and you can click, click, click. It's uh, really good to use. And then you can actually enable hear through with these. So when you double tap the left, it does enable hear through, but I do have to say that hear through is a bit weird. It doesn't sound too natural. It's a bit like um, you can hear an echo and it's a bit robotic. I would say that the ones on the Jabra is a bit better, but with these, you do kind of hear like a silent hiss, uh, but uh, you know what, it still works. And then on the right, you got touch controls for play and pause and voice assistant and all that, so it's quite impressive. So with these, it's 140 bucks, and um, I guess you're really paying for the dual use that you get the speaker. So if that's important to you, then this is something to consider, but really I think you are kind of paying a premium for these two. So overall, I do think the um, Tautronics and Empower would be the best bang for the buck if you just want to listen to your music, to your podcast, this is gonna work well. And then if you want better sound quality, you want the Habit and the Sabbath over here. Again, this is like the best sound quality out of all of this. This is super impressive for what you're getting with $80. And with the Habit, you're getting the best uh, build quality, uh, touch controls, really good for working out, very secure. And with these two, you are getting something that's more special. With this, uh, you get a longer range. And with the Fiaton, you do get the speaker, so uh, they are charging more for that kind of stuff. For myself, if I was on a budget, I would definitely go with the M-Pows. And if I was going for sound quality, I would definitely go for the Sabbath. And if I was going for the call quality, well, Here's a call quality test for you to compare. Hey guys, so we're trying to emulate a coffee shop background sound environment and we're using my speaker over here and right now we're using the uh, camera mic. And now we're gonna switch over to the m for call quality test. Right now. Testing, this is the m C3 right now. Testing, one, two, three. This is the m C3. Now we're using the Testing, one, two, three. This is Taltronics. This is the Mavin Air X. Testing, one, two, three. This is the Mavin Air X True Wireless Earbuds. This is the Habit G1 Pro. Testing, this is the Habit G1 Pro True Wireless Earbuds. This is the Sabbath E12. Testing, one, two, three. This is Sabbath E12 True Wireless Earbuds. And finally, here is the Fiaton earbuds. Testing, one, two, three. This is the Fiaton True Wireless Earbuds. So what do you guys think? I know that was a bit short, but let me know in the comments below which one sounds the best to you. So really, it's uh, time for me to play some earbuds mahjong now. And uh, I really hope I helped you guys figure out which one's gonna be the best for you and if you can save some money instead of buying the really expensive earbuds and uh, getting the cheaper ones for yourself. So remember, if this video has helped you in any way, remember to like and subscribe to support the channel and turn that notification bell on to get the latest updates about my channel from YouTube. And really, that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next review video. Bye. So I just wanted to give you a quick note at the end. I think the major difference between the uh, cheaper earbuds and the more expensive earbuds is the um, app or the hear through. And really it's just the um, ease of use and connection quality. Because with the Jabra's, you do have the simultaneous pairing when you open them up, they pair to two at the same time, whereas none of these can do it. And then as for uh, being independent, the Beats does it the best because they connect to your phone 
uh, right away and uh, when you put one back it connects to the other one right away so this still is the best for stuff like that with this it's kind of finicky um, because when you put one on it has to wait until the other one connects and it will tell you like oh left is connected right is connected oh they're both connected so it will tell you that and you will have to wait for that to do its thing but other than that uh, sometimes when you take it out of the case uh, only one works and the other one doesn't and you have to turn it on so it's it's kind of finicky like that whereas these are more perfected and they they just work when you take them out of the case so really I think that's the major difference between the two uh, with bigger brands and smaller brands and really that's about it I really hope that little part helped over there and uh, yeah